So Samsung just accidentally uploaded a promo for the Exynos 2200 on their YouTube channel and boy oh boy are we in for something big. It's a tale as old as time itself, Exynos versus Snapdragon, Hi. Samsung's in-house processor versus the standard used by most Android manufacturers. Now initially, Exynos was actually quite good and was the preferred chipset over Snapdragon, but over the years, I don't know if Samsung got complacent or just refused to evolve with the competition and they got left in the dust by Snapdragon. It has been a lot of users' complaints over the years that their international versions of their Samsung devices ship with the Exynos chipset, which has been proven to be inferior to the Snapdragon chipset. They have heating problems and they have battery problems especially. Now Samsung have spent the last couple of years trying to play catch up to Qualcomm and Snapdragon but they have been met with little success. Last year's Exynos 2100 was a bit of a letdown in comparison to its Snapdragon equivalent but Samsung have claimed to change the game with their new processor the Exynos 2200. Now, I'm not sure if you all remember the time when it was all over the news that Samsung had come into an agreement with AMD with regarding their process processors and the GPUs, but that is something that is going to be important for the rest of this video. So remember that. Now, moving forward, the Exynos 2200, what exactly is this chipset? So this is Samsung's in-house processor for its flagship phones, and the company has teased the new chipset with the hashtag playtime is over hinting at its performance. So we expect stellar performance from this chipset, especially when it comes to games and things that are graphically intensive. It is not a four nanometer process like the Snapdragon Gen 1. The Exynos 2200 is probably gonna be a five nanometer process like the Exynos 2100, but it still serves some performance improvements over the Exynos 2100. This time around, the new Exynos 2200 will drive graphics from AMD's RDNA2 GPU, which is seen in PC and console. That said, it will come with some very impressive features which have been restricted to just PCs and new gen consoles such as ray tracing and variable rate shading. Imagine console level gaming on your smartphone. That is what Samsung is promising with the Exynos 2200 chipset. Will they deliver? We will just have to wait and see. Now a bit more on the technical side based on what we know so far. The Exynos 2200 will be an octa-core chipset with one Cortex-X CPU core, three Cortex-A710 CPU cores, and four Cortex-A510 CPU cores. It is also expected to have an improved 5G modem, better image signal processing, and enhanced AI processing. But let's be realistic, the AI processing is probably just gonna be limited to the camera and the image processing over there, because as we all know, Bixby is not getting any smarter and, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I just had to throw some shade at Bixby. Bixby is getting better, but that's just by the way. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Exynos 2200, and do you think it has what it takes to stand up to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1? If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button and subscribe. My name is Johannes, this is Tech PhD, and I'll see you in one of the videos showing on the screen all over right here. <laughs> yeah, stay cool, peace.